Welcome back to day three of road tripping across Argentina. Before we get into the video, if you could just do one quick thing, like, subscribe, or comment down below. It really means a lot to me and it helps the videos become successful. With that being said, let's get back to Argentina. The current time is 7.58 in the morning. I am in the south of Argentina. And that mountain over there is the real life Patagonia Mountains. The exact mountain is named Fitzroy and that behind me that is illuminated is the logo of the Patagonia brand. I think I might be in trouble. It's two churros. What's that? Are we in? What's up man? Absolutely it's freezing. So, it's so difficult. We have to hear it for time for four hours. We, we cannot stop. For I think it's eight hours. Eight hours, yes. Yeah. We don't have water, we don't have food, but we are going to. But we food. have Eric. God, God, <laughs> assistant, please, a coffee. Look at this cow. This cow is completely unbothered. I'm maybe three, four feet away from this guy. My inner child really wants to go pet it, but I know, terrible idea. Yesterday, we traveled all day to come to this spot. This town confirmed has 2,000 people living there. 2,000 Argentinos. Probably the most touristic town I've been to in Argentina because I will speak Spanish to people here and they respond to me in English, which I don't really like. But it's okay. You can't, you can't win every battle. So I usually then just respond in English. The sun is now coming over the Fitzroy mountain. So we stopped. We're not going to go any further because uh, we have to drive eight hours. No, six hours, eight hours today. One of them knowing us is going to, well, an Argentinian six hours is a normal person's eight hours. It is so pretty back there. We're going to wrap this up here and then we're heading to, I think an even smaller town than this, which is, um, I don't even think it's possible, but we're gonna find out. You guys wanna see an insane cinematic shot? Watch this, I'm gonna put you on a bush. Here we are in the Patagonia, Argentina, with the Chalten of Fritz Roy. It's an amazing place for every people in South America and the world. That was almost perfect English, and the first try. Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. He doesn't speak English to me, so I'm, I don't know why he speaks English to the camera. We've made it to the auto. Nine o'clock on the dot. Honestly, that's pretty impressive. Many of you ask what SIM card I have. I have a US SIM card from T-Mobile that I've had forever. You can see that we are basically on the border with Chile. Once everyone gets back to the car, we are going to head north about six hours to a little town and we're going to stay there for the night. This new town, super tiny, I think I said it's smaller than the town we're currently in, is what they think will be the next tourist boom here in Santa Cruz Provincia in Argentina. But I don't know about this. So we've taken a brief hiatus at the hotel because we have a major un poquito problem. Uh, Eric, the photographer, has lost his DNA, which is basically his passport, and we have a flight in two days. So he's at the civil service office here in El Chalten. So we've been delayed a little bit, but look at this. So I ended up grabbing a second breakfast with Media Luna's a little bit of tocino, which is bacon, some cheese. I have a lemon tea, but look at the view of where I'm eating this breakfast. This is not the Fitzroy Mountain, which I think if we look out of the left window here, we can see. Here, we are overlooking a little bit of the town and then snow-capped mountains in the background. It is honestly like a movie eating breakfast here. Um, so if Eric wants to take a little bit more time, that's okay with me. It's a good day to be in Argentina. Every day is a good day to be in Argentina. Remember how I said that one of our people lost his ID? Well, Lucas, let's go see if Eric has got a new ID. <laughs> oh, we are here. We are here. This town is not very big, man. Like you walk 10 minutes in any direction. You're I have at the to end tell you it. something. Okay. Here is no getting the ID. He's arrested. 
Hasta lo, uh, la policía. Yeah, la policía. Eros de Malvinas. Never say anything about this to Argentinos. Basically, the civil service office. We need. Is it? I think it's open. We are going to make a, a deal. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo Four, one, two, uh, I don't know how to say in English. The, the four, floor? No, no, no. The truck. See? Have four... Wheels. Wheels. One... It doesn't work. Yes. Oh, the, the truck. The truck. Ah, bro. So they are going to the... Where is it? Okay. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Wow, so not only does Eric not have his DNA, but the pat now the truck is broken. <laughs> <laughs> the truck, bro. The truck is broken now. You can't make this up. No light here now. Can't get the ID. Ah, no. no light. There's no power. No That's power. why it's. Bro, you can't make this up. <laughs> so the truck has a flat tire. Eric is without identification, and the the whole town has power. We have power in the hotel, but the one building that we need to have electricity doesn't have electricity. Oh, remember, yesterday, the city doesn't have power also. Bienvenido a Argentina. <laughs> no power here. <laughs> what happened? We are going into a little mechanic shop. Rodrigo. Rodrigo, te gusta cigarrillos. Well, while the car is getting fixed and the entire day goes to a disaster, let me show you the welcome sign of El Chalten, the capital nacional del trekking of Argentina. Bienvenido. And if you come over to here, that is the mountain we were at this morning. This is the most picturesque town that I've been to. And most Argentinian towns are super picturesque. But look at this when I go in the cache. You can see that the sun perfectly comes down and it it's just beautiful. It's like, I feel like in South Unidos, we are very accustomed to these big cities and not being able to walk anywhere. But here, and this is the main cache, it's everyone has to come through here to go to the bus station or if you're going to go to another town this is where you have to come and this is a lot of towns and cities in south america they're all walkable they're all they feel like they have life to them which is something that i i miss a lot look at this it's a little light pole with usb plugs <laughs> Argentinian dogs in the provincia, they have such small little legs. They're all like this. They're all super tiny. So after the entire tobacco this morning of losing the DNA, the car breaking, the entire town losing electricity, we have made it into the car with mate, with a sandwich, the jamón y queso. We found a mini ipefe. We're back on the road. Time, 12 y 13. So yeah, it's almost 12.15. We are on the road a little bit later than we thought we would be. We made our way to the cool car. <laughs> Goodbye, losers. <laughs> Wanaco, morir. Wow, there's a dead Wanaco. No way. There's a dead alpaca. No. Para comida? Ah, they get stuck. Yes. No. Wow. There was like five Wanacos or alpacas and they were stuck from the, the fence and they're just dead. Bro, that's. Ah, seis. No. Today has to be up there in like the top five worst days of traveling I've ever had. The morning started out really good, but as you can see on my face, I'm just destroyed. 11.29. We left the other town at 12, meaning that we have been driving in a car across the south of Argentina for 11 hours today. There was nothing to see the entire way. 
half of the roads were not paved and just do, 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 yeah. Um, sometimes it's like that. Well, to add to that, I just filmed that entire part in vertical mode. So this is the room. Also not great, but I actually really, I expected this because of where we are in Argentina. It's, there's like no hotels or anything. They're basically all just hostels. What are we doing tomorrow? I have no idea. Um, I can't even get a clear answer on what tomorrow is. I just know that we're driving again, but hopefully not for 12 hours. I think it's only like four. The issue right now is I know as soon as I lay down in this bed, I will do nothing and fall asleep. What I have to do, I have to charge everything. I have to take a shower. I have to brush my teeth. I have to, I'm going to try to get that stuff done. Um, Thank you, Patreon, Facebook, and Instagram subscribers. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. You can you can tell I'm destroyed at the moment. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next day. Road tripping Argentina, and I really hope I really hope it's less driving than today. I'll see you guys tomorrow.